Hey, it's a Monday morning with Mike, right here from Ellis Construction in Stevens Point. So I'm here at Ellis Construction with Andrew Halverson. He's the Executive Vice President and Corporate Secretary of Ellis Construction. And he's gonna tell us a little bit about where did Ellis come from? So, Well, I appreciate that, Mike. You know, it's interesting. Ellis Stone Construction Company has been here since 1932, right? And what's intriguing is that a lot of folks will always ask, is there an Ellis family? Is there a Mr. Ellis Stone? Where did it come from? Well, what's really phenomenal about our story and represents some of the strength and the great foundation that we were built on is that in 1932, at the height of the Great Depression, our founders leased their first quarry. They were master stonemasons and stonecutters. They leased their first quarry just outside of the small town of Ellis, just east of Stevens Point. So the derivation of the word Ellis comes from the small little community of Ellis where they leased that quarry. Subsequently, as they advanced as stonemasons, they leased two other quarries, one in Rudolph, one in Knowlton. And as they advanced through the 30s and 40s, a great deal of their work was really concentrated on the masonry for churches and schools. A lot of the Catholic churches throughout central and northern Wisconsin were able to be touched by uh, Nils Anderson, Elgie Carlson in particular, uh, as the really the root of how the company started. And a lot of folks who are familiar with us certainly know that we're here and we exist, but the difference is the word Ellis has always been an interesting one for a lot of folks, and now you and all the other folks that watch Monday mornings with Mike will understand that we were founded just outside of the small town of Ellis. So there you go, Stevens Point trivia fans. Here's something that a lot of people don't know about. <laughs> So here we are on a project at the McCain Foods Hall of Fame Pavilion at Woyak Park right here in Plover. And Andrew's gonna tell us a little bit about, um, you know, the community involvement that Ellis has, and it is vast. So, well, I appreciate it, Mike. You know, what's great is that being here and our wonderful trade partners are here with us from Perkis Masonry and other awesome Portage County business. That's a great part about Ellis and what we do. We're able to be involved with so many different trade partners to help us leave these landmarks on the communities we touch, right? And that's something that we're so very proud of. It's probably the one thing that we take the most pride in, in the work that we do, is when our guys leave these job sites, they've left a lasting landmark on the communities we touch that they can show their children, their grandchildren, as the future goes by. Clover Waiting Youth Athletics is an unbelievable organization that promotes youth involvement and leadership development. And it's a great example of how Ellis can be involved and give back, right? Whether it's aiding on equipment donations, whether it's in-kind de design that we're able to provide for various projects. The Saramar Park Pavilion in Stevens Point is a great example. Over our 92 year history, we've had a chance to touch so many different structures that folks learn, heal, work, play, pray in. It's really something that is so close to our heart and represents stuff that we want to share with the greater community so they realize the various projects that not only we've had a chance to give back to, but that really have created the community that we know and love here in Portage County. And really, you know, you learn in the first part of this that they're from, originally from Ellis, Wisconsin. So really, this company is truly part of the foundation of Portage County. 